rescue him because Jesse is good. And then I decided to take him because we need to be the better person in the end. Kenpeitukis, I don't know how redeemable he is just to take him with me and make him fix things. Retribution and all that. He can't redeem himself if he's dead. He's awful, but death isn't always justice. I would have let him up until he started to look like he might regret stuff. So, so the one thing I was waiting for the admin was for him to finally get it. You know, it seemed like, at least verbally, it seemed like he finally got it. And he finally realized what I've been trying to convince him for the entire season is that his rise to power is not cool man and it's not what's gonna make you friends that is not how you earn friendship like it's really warped and twisted i thought that he would be totally lost if he never got it like if at this point even at this point if he still didn't get it then i was gonna leave him because i'm like you still don't understand so if you even if your life is threatened and all the walls are coming down and you still don't get it then you're never going to get it. But it sounds like there actually is a glimmer, slight glimmer of hope that he might actually be able to redeem himself because he finally has taken the first step of acceptance. You know, acceptance is, I think, is, is the first major step. Acceptance and realization of what you're doing. Um, so that is the only thing that is causing me to be, to, to, to take him up is just the mere fact that he finally accepted that what he did was wrong and not cool. Um, especially since he doesn't have his powers anymore. You know, it might I might be a little bit iffy if he still had his powers. But the fact that he's now harmless um, and doesn't have his powers anymore makes me feel like, okay, at this point, he seems like to kind of start to realize the error of his ways. Yes, he killed a city of people, you know, but like Evan said, death is not always justice in the end all the time, especially when in a situation like this where I feel like my Jesse would try to be the better person. Um, if there was any threat of him with, if he still had his powers, he could still be a threat to people. And if that was the case, I would probably you know, leave him because he's still a threat to people. And it's not, you know, if he still, especially if he still was not in the road to acceptance of what he did, then that just wouldn't work. So, um, I would have left him up. That's just my thinking. It'd be hilarious if, if in enough way, if you took him up and Zara instantly killed him five minutes later. Well, well then that's up to Zara then. Come on, this place is falling apart. We can decide what happens to him later. Let's grab him and go. That's true, Jack. We can decide what happens to him later. Not staying here. That would be the coward's way out. Yeah. Come on. The lava gets to that portal before we do. We'll be stuck here forever. Then let's move. Move, Jesse. Thank you, Petra. Let's keep going. Almost there. Everyone keep moving. We just can't get a break, can we? Control it. I know. Is this the end? Is this the end of our friends? <gasps> Radar! Yes! How? Yes! Zara helped. Fixed. Portal. Ran all the way. So uh, tired. All the way here. My son! Really? Oh, Radar, I'm so glad to see you. Run for it, now! Oh, Radar, you are a sight for sore eyes, my son. That is amazing. That was so amazing. Radar, you are, you rock. 
Oh, Radar made it. I was about to say. I was so scared he would... <gasps> yes! Radar made it! Oh, everybody's back together again. Ha-ha! <laughs> We're alive! We are alive! <sighs> yeah, and not a minute too soon. Yeah. Radar. Oh, oh. my gosh! <sighs> it's not to following me, right? Right? No, Radar, you're good. Nah, I think you're in the clear, Slim. Hey, nice work. Nice work. Is this floating building gonna fall now? Oh, now we can turn this around. <laughs> the parrot party. I guess they couldn't get Stampy back, and that's why he didn't talk at all in this entire episode. Where is Lucas? I, I thank you. Sincerely. I hardly believe that I deserve to be here at all anymore. Yeah, you're right. You don't really deserve to be I here at all. You know what I need to but do you are. to make up for my crimes, though. Good. Then you gotta start fast. I'm gonna return to the underneath. Try to help all the people I left behind. Good. Fix all the lives I ruined. Good. And I'm gonna try and find Zara. Good. See if I can't make things right between us. I mean, it doesn't make up for what I... Nope. Or what I did to Fred. Nope. But if I can heal things with Zara... Well, it's something, at least. It is true. And, that is true. And no more admin powers. Everything I do now will just be the normal way. That? That's... Hope I can still remember how the normal way even works. That sounds fine, Romeo, but it's only the start. You have a lot of making up to do. Mm-hmm. I know. It's true. <sighs> Good. Save the world again, huh? Doesn't that ever get old? Lucas. Why, yes. Thank you for noticing. Thought we'd fit in a light bit of world saving before afternoon pie time. Oh, it's see you all in one piece, too. It's another hug. Whoa, whoa, another whoa, hug. Whoa. We get the admin? two hugs. Don't worry. It's not the admin anymore. You can punch him one more this time, Lucas, Romeo. if you want. <laughs> well, that's a relief. No more admins for me. Thank you very much. I agree with that 112%, Blondie. But Jesse, yes. after everything he did, do you... Do you really think he deserves to go free? No, what he doesn't he deserve to. People? He might... He might have been better off where he was. I couldn't leave him there, though. I know he was terrible, but I saw him sitting there, and I just couldn't do it. Even if he did deserve it, I just couldn't live with myself if I trapped him there. Mm -hmm. Well, that's because you're a good person, Jesse. <laughs> but... I just hope it was the right decision. Me too, Lucas. It's okay. If it wasn't, then you and I will fix it. What do you guys say we head home? I say, way ahead of you, friend. <laughs> Me too. Awesome. Man, I cannot wait to put on a shirt again. <laughs> oh, Radar. Our son, our whole family's back together. <sighs> oh, this is wrapping up so nicely. It'd be hilarious in an effed up way if, if you took him and Zara instantly killed him five minutes later. Radar, we missed you. And this just turned into one of those giant monster movies. I'd still like I'd still like send Ivor or whatever to keep watch over him just in case. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. Have Ivor watch him. It's best to show kindness even to people who didn't deserve it. It worked out for Zara so far. Love yourselves uh, and love each other, right? Jesse! Not so I am sexy evil maester. You from this direction and am coming to speak with you. Yes, sir. No ninja trickery, hijinks, or tomfoolery here. Both my actions and my intentions are crystal clear. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you're right there. I can see you. I know, I know, but I'm trying not to sneak up on people anymore. So no more ninja Ivor then? Oh. Ha! Huh. No, no. I decided it was time to stop running around in my pajamas and start trying to fix a few messes. Starting with trying to heal the rift between my old friends. Oh, well, that's sweet. Magnus is easy. We'll just pop by Boomtown. Last I heard, Gabriel was doing the wandering warrior thing. Soren? No idea where he is, but I've got some leads. Aw, oh, man, that's awesome. They're going to be so excited. You think so? That's certainly the way I'm hoping it will happen. 
Well, I suppose it's time for me to go. This has been fun, though, hasn't it? Mm hmm. Jesse! Jesse, hey! What's up, Radar? Hey, son. Saying goodbye to. Mm, Uncle Ivor. Ninja habits die hard. Thank you for not being secretly evil, Radar. I, uh, hope you don't mind, but, uh, I've kind of been taking charge of the beautification project. I thought, why not at least make it look intentional? Really stepping it up to leader mode, if I do say so myself. I'm so proud! You're yeah, gonna inherit the business! Stressful, but also fun. So, like, fun I'm gonna stressful, say I'm so proud of you. Stress fun? Anyway, I think I've been doing a pretty good job. Uh, You've definitely been stepping it up. I'm really proud of you. Oh, wow. This is best day. Whoa! Hey, Luna. Hey, Luna. Are we no, like Luna, cool? That, that is the real Jesse. We don't like the real Jesse, remember? Let's just ignore these losers and be on our way. Mm -hmm. Some people don't learn. You understand. Sorry about Champion City. Stella, listen. I'm really sorry about what happened to... Don't even. If it wasn't for you and your little gang telling the admin off in the first place, I'd still have my home. Luna, now! Oh, Luna! Good, Luna. <laughs> That's right. Shake that booty. You. Ugh. you are all the worst. None of you are ever going to be welcome in the new Champion City. Mark my words. Keep walking, Stella. Bye bye for now, Stella. Before you embarrass yourself even more. Yeah, Stella is the absolute worst. See ya, honey. Hey, look who's sticking around. Well, after all that time we spent traveling together through the underneath, you're not so bad. Now, you got everything you need. All packed and double checked? Yes, Jack. This oh, is very. Are you going with them? No, bittersweet for me, you know. <laughs> Goodbyes are. I really. I'm gonna. No good. I'm gonna miss oh. you, Jack. I like Jack a lot. Oh. He is so cool. That we have, Nermi. And so Nerm. I won't say it this time. <laughs> Not to people that I will see again. Oh. <laughs> Season three, <laughs> everybody. It. Come on, walk me to the gate. So is Petra going off so, adventuring? So, leaving, apparently? For how long? Honestly, probably a while. But it's good this time. I'm doing it for me. I'm good. trying to, like, grow or whatever. Oh, well, good. Anyway, good. I'm about to say goodbye to everyone. And I... Ah! Come here. Aww, I it was nice myself. to see Axel and Olivia. Prom is oh, broken. Geez. I ship Petra okay. and Axel. So Who Petra's cares? heading off into the great unknown, huh? Yep. <laughs> I figured. Definitely sounds exciting. This makes her happy. No, I do not town, want Lucas going with her. Find or dungeons or whatever you hack and slash types do. Everyone's got to find their happy place. And For mine's Petra, with you, Lucas. Explored forests and caves. Yeah. I think I'm closing that chapter of my life for a while. <gasps> it's time to settle down. So we're gonna settle down and raise our child together. Hey, you guys are missing out on prime group hug action. Yay, group hug. Oh. Uh, no air. Actually dying. Oh, this is sweet. <sighs> you don't think this is like the last time we'll all be together, do you? No, I don't no. think so. Well, maybe. I don't know. I mean. If Petra's leaving... No, hang on. Let's not put all the pressure on me here. Maybe I'll go no matter what. Or two. You totally could, man. There's nothing stopping you. Even if it is, no matter what, we'll always be best friends. And I know that you'll all be the best friends I ever had. Oh, This is <laughs> okay. so sweet. Well, I'm gonna get out of here before I... <laughs> I think Ninja <laughs> Ivor is right. cutting some onions. Bye, guys. Oh, those two. Be safe out there, okay? The safest. And when you finish that book of yours, I better have a great part in it. Uh-huh. <laughs> when we talked at the cabin about, you know, the future and stuff, I never got a straight answer from you. Oh, no. But the invite's still open if you want it. No pressure. Okay, well, thank you. Wait, you're... 
leaving? No. Wait. Uh, no. Stay in Beacon Town. I can either stay in Beacon Town or go hit the road. Uh, okay. Let me see. Uh, my son's here. My hubby's here. Lucas. Jack, who's awesome, is here. Nurm's there. Luna's there. I love, I love Petra. Love Petra. But I'm a family man now. You know, I'm a family man. And my family has to come first. You know, my hubby and my husband have to come first. So Beacon Town's pretty cool. I don't want to miss seeing it get even cooler. Ooh, I was hoping that's what you would say. Have fun, Petra. You'll make us proud. She'll be fine. She'll be good. See ya, Petra. I, for one, am incredibly excited. And I can keep being your intern. And my kid. Oh, come on. Intern? He hasn't earned a promotion yet? <laughs> Executive intern. Friend. Intern I can't, in chief. I can't say son. Ooh, director of Co -hero internal and residence. affairs. Oh, well, your internship is definitely over with. How about you just be my friend? <sighs> That's my favorite job title I've ever heard. Oh, can we hug him, Holding too? Back, the waterworks okay there? Oh, no promises. It's so sweet. Come on, you guys. Let's head back to the hall. Oh. Guys, guys, Jesse decided to stay. I'm glad to hear it. I know, me too. <laughs> Just think about all the amazing things we'll be able to do. The new buildings, the new inventions, the new structures. I've got some big plans, big, big plans that I want to pitch you. It'll be great, I swear. First, I think we should set up a couple of meetings. Mm -hmm. Maybe see about a conference with the Firework Guild, get a celebratory display going. Orange. Finally, finally do that lunch with the followers of Soren. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. And I, I like lunch. check the mail chest. And boy, were we behind on our correspondence. I'll bet. We received a letter from someone named Aiden. Oh. Something about wanting to redeem himself. No idea what that means. Aiden. And a rather cryptic note from someone with the initials WP that just said, look out. WP. Strange. Uh, okay. Anyway, point is, we've got a lot of work to do, and I can't wait. Wait to start. <laughs> Me neither, pal. Oh, we had our very sweet, happy ending, and that wrapped it up so nicely. Oh, I love that. I love that. That was a great ending to this season. Definitely enjoyed that a lot. I feel like that was a more satisfying ending than the first season, in my opinion. Poetic justice. Oh, that was great. Oh, I like that a lot. I'm wondering if they're going to have a season three. It, it looks like they were, they were, you know, implying it. You and 51% encourage Petra to be her own person, knowing you'll be friends no matter what. Friends. Just friends is the emphasis. I'm wondering what the other 49%. You and 49%, only 49%. Well, I mean, that is 50-50. That is split. You and 49% trusted Radar, letting him become the man in charge. You and 47% encouraged Radar to take chances and be his own man. Aww. You and 53% wanted nothing to do with Stella, so she embraced her dark side. But that's really on her, not on me. I mean, yeah, you could blame us for having her turn to the dark side but ultimately she's the one who had to choose to be in the dark side you and 50 percent showed zara that there was hope in the world cool only 50 percent you and 52 percent took pity on romeo and pulled him out of the void yes You and 55% led with empathy empathy, and protected your friends no matter the cost. Why is Lucas not in this picture? I do not know, but it's that, that, that's, Lucas is missing right there. What advice did you give Jack when he met Ivor? You and 56% of players told Jack to be himself. I don't know if that was really a major decision, but okay. Wow, split exactly evenly. 
Did you destroy the admin statue? You and 50% of players destroyed the admin statue, but put Nell in danger. Did you con how did you confront the admin's tower? You and 47% of players ordered the ocelots to attack. I wonder what would happen if we just talked first. Did you leave Romeo behind in the terminal space? You and 52% of players took Romeo with you. Did you remain in Beacon Town or leave with Petra? You and 49% of players stayed in Beacon Town. That is interesting. I mean, again, it is split pretty evenly, 50-50 but slightly less people uh, stayed in Beacon Town. I guess, I, I'm assuming maybe it's just people really like Petra a lot. Nice, cool. So what are your thoughts guys on this season? Uh, and how did you think this season stacked up with season one? I personally feel like, I don't know, it's hard to, it's hard to compare the two. I feel like both seasons had a lot of really great parts in it. I feel like, as I said, I feel like the I really enjoyed how this season wrapped up a little bit more than the last season wrapped up, and by that I mean episode 8. Although episode 4, I think it was episode 4, I wasn't sure if it was 4 or 5, but it were 4 or 5 with the really tragic ending to that arc, to the Witherstorm arc. Um, I thought that was definitely a better ending than this one, just because of that tragedy the tragedy to happen however this was a ridiculously satisfying ending too so i like them both for different reasons i like the ep the mid season finale because of the feels but i also like this one more than the full season finale of season one just because it just wrapped things up really well we got nerm back we got radar back things aren't really hanging except for like maybe you could argue the stuff that was um, Radar was talking about with WP says watch out or Aiden redeeming himself or something like that along those lines. Um, so I liked how it's it's sort of it feels like this is an actual season ending and there's no like major cliffhanger which you don't have to have at the end of a season all the time. And it was just thank the maker I actually was able to give in the option to hug Lucas thank the maker and not only did i get one but we got two hugs so that almost almost doesn't quite but almost makes up for the fact that um we haven't been able to get an option to hug him this entire time so i'm really happy to see that so um this is the portion guys when you can ask me pretty much anything ama the uh, q a so ask your questions now um, and whenever I don't have any more questions left, then we'll we'll go ahead and uh, call it a day. So, um, oh, that's really kind of. Uh, I'm gonna Ali Audi so I can watch the whole thing. No problem, Cerulean. Well, um, thank you for stopping by. Um, oh, that's kind of really sweet of Ivor. It's really awesome to see how Radar has grown as a character. I totally agree but still keep his awkward cute charm. Yes, yes, I totally agree. I really enjoy Radar's character a lot. Um, I can see why people would still find him uh, annoying. I think it's endearing. I think his adorableness is endearing. Gotta love the adorable ones. Hashtag all the hugs. So that's three hugs from Lucas. Yes, technically that's three hugs if you count the, the group hug. Lucas, intern all affairs. Haha, <laughs> that was great. I loved how it ended. Yeah, exactly, me too. I found the villain characters and story to be better in season one, despite season one having eight episodes. I found this better than the first season overall. Um, I, I think I feel the same way too. Although I feel like this season had a lot less Lucas than I would have wanted. <laughs> I feel like they could have added more Lucas, but I think a lot of it was also because of Scott Porter's availability. I mean, the guy pretty much was, he pretty much starred in um, the Gal Guardians of the Galaxy, so I totally understand that, but come on. Gotta have, can't have enough Scott Porter. Um, so where does this game rank in your Telltale game list? Um, so above Minecraft season one, I would think. Um, it's the Minecraft seasons, the Minecraft games, I feel like compared to the other Telltale games, I tend to still enjoy the other Telltale games a little more. Um, but 
I probably feel like I enjoy this one more than Guardians of the Galaxy. I think I like this one more than Guardians of the Galaxy just because of I enjoyed the overall story more and I cared about the characters a little bit more than in Guardians of the Galaxy. And the characters were not as drama-filled annoying as the characters sometimes got in Guardians of the Galaxy. So yeah, this is above that one. Um, but I would still say that, you know, The Walking Dead, I still like better. The Borderlands, uh, Borderlands I still liked more. Um, Game of Thrones I liked more. Um, but uh, it's, still, it's still a good game. I still enjoyed it a lot. Um, and, you know, it's, it's super fun. Especially, as, and that says a lot. I think that that says a lot, considering I am a person who is not actually a fan of the original Minecraft game. It's not my thing. Um, so given that, and I still enjoyed this game, that says a lot. Um, I feel like I like this one slightly less than, um, uh, The Wolf Among Us as well. But I still, again, I still enjoy it. Um, Finding Paradise is out. So is Ra Rakuen, but not connected other than Laura Shigara making it. Though you still haven't played Bird Story, I don't think. Now to wait another six years for the next game from Kangao. Yes, yeah, so now that it is um, winter break, I pretty much took off a week and a half from work for the holidays. So my next game that I'm planning on playing is going to be a Bird Story and uh, Finding Paradise. That is my goal now is to do that next uh, and probably like pair that in parallel with the uh, Fractured Butthole game uh which i am i like i said i've started putting episodes out of so yes finding paradise and bird story in that in flipped order those are going to be the next games i'm planning on let's playing good question compete kiss read all only memories is also cool clem's voice actor is in it too oh i've never heard of read all only memories i'll have to what is that about what do you want for christmas <laughs> This sounds like I'm beating a dead horse. Um, what do I want for Christmas? Honestly, a surrogate. <laughs> a surrogate who actually um, can be our surrogate. We've gone through four. It's been really tough. We've gone through four. Um, and all four of them did not quite pan out. And it's been very, very stressful and very frustrating for my husband and I. Because we've been trying to become parents for two and a half years and without a surrogate we probably have to wait another two and a half years more um, to save money in order to afford um, a surrogate through an agency now because we were trying really hard to find a surrogate find somebody that we actually personally knew or was a friend of a friend because the problem is we can find a surrogate through an agency instead of going through friends or friends of a friend. But if you go through an agency, the agency charges a large fee. Um, and they also, because you're going through an agency, they probably have a larger minimum of compensation for the surrogate themselves. So basically at minimum, uh, by not having a surrogate that you know, by having to go through a surrogate agency, uh, the difference in that is at minimum $30,000. So either we find another surrogate after the four surrogates that didn't um, pan out, or we save until we can make up the $30,000 plus money that we now have to spend if we go through an agency. So yeah. That's my. That's what I would love for a Christmas is a surrogate that will actually like pan out this time. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but you know, we have to keep trying because Colin and I, we, we really want to be dads. We really, really, really want to do, and it's so frustrating how difficult it is to be parents when we really want to. But thank you for the asking that question. Um, I think it was because he, Scott, had a kid or something. Oh, that's right. I think Scott did have a kid. Congratulations to Scott Forder. Speaking of being a dad, <laughs> speaking of being fathers, uh, uh, how, how, how well was that timed? How do you like the second South Park game? I enjoy it a lot. I really love the combat system. 
I, I real one of the things I missed from the first South Park was that I kind of wanted to be able to have more than one partner in uh, combat because you only had you can only pick one other character to fight with you in combat. So I love the fact that you can have three other characters and have a full party of characters. Um, I really enjoy the um, the uh, tactics like Final Fantasy tactics like grid style of movement for the um for the combat pretty much i love the combat system the combat system is, is super fun um i think that they did simplify a bunch of things in terms of of um i think in 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 the previous game when you had to do a special move like the combo the combos of buttons that you had to press were a little bit more like involved than the buttons you had to press for the second one but i feel like they evened it out because of the complexity in the um the grid the movement grid in fractured butthole so um so that about the game i really enjoy and there's just a lot of really there, there's just a lot of improvements that they made in fractured back hole that being said the overall plot I felt was is lacking. I feel like I really enjoyed the story way more. The story was a lot more cohesive, in my opinion, in the first game compared to this one. Um, so that's the only thing is that I wasn't really a big fan of the of the story, and I have other strong opinions near the end about the game. But I don't want to. If I talk about that, it's going to give away some spoilers, and I don't want to spoil the game for the people who are still watching that series. So. Do I like the second one more than the first one? Mm, not necessarily better. I feel like they're on par. They both are on par because I love... There's certainly a lot of things about the first one that I really enjoy, but there's also a lot of stuff about the second one I enjoy. And um, I feel like my biggest like disappointment is that you're kind of forced into playing with Kuhn and friends. Like you're forced into being with Kuhn and friends and you're never really given an option to join the Freedom Pals instead. Um, at least in the Stick of Truth, you know, you could, you do get forced into starting with, um, with uh, Koopa Keep, but then you do have the option to join a different faction later. Even if that is only for a short amount of time, the option is still there. And so that's one of the most frustrating things, which I think the game developers dropped the ball on is, you know, I'm not a big, I am way more a big fan of the Freedom Pals than I am of, of Coon and Friends. And the fact that I was in, I was pretty much stuck in Coon and Friends for way longer than I wanted to soured my enjoyment of the game, to be very honest. So that is probably one of my biggest issues with the game is that, I really wanted to be in Freedom Pals. I really did. But anyway, I, I'm not saying any more else because I don't want to spoil anything. Um, so let me know, Hark. My mom and I watch you all the time. Oh, we'll say hi to your mom. She works a lot and I started going to college. But whenever we have some downtime, we watch some of your stuff together. Oh, that's really cool. I'm very curious, uh, Kenny, about how, um, how uh, what, what videos in particular your mom is interested or you and your mom are interested that's that's always i've always wondered what people's parents think about my videos and what is it about videos they actually enjoy watching um it's extremely great mother-daughter bonding oh i'm glad do you want a season three of minecraft i think yeah yeah i do actually i do um not as much as i want a season two of of um borderlands not as much as I want a season two of The Wolf Among Us and um, and Game of Thrones, but um, I feel like if they make another season three Minecraft, I would look forward to it just because I really enjoy the characters a lot. Like I, sp I like I feel like in season two overall I enjoy the characters more. I was okay with Olivia and Axel in season one, but you know the characters didn't really like make it for me even petra i was petra's just okay for me in season one obviously lucas was like you know by far my favorite but here like you've got lucas and also um radar and jack and luna 
um, and Nurm. I liked all of those characters a lot, and I felt that those characters were way more interesting than Axel and Olivia to me. So, so I feel like I definitely am looking forward to a season three of Minecraft more so, way more so, than I was looking for a season two of Minecraft at the end of Minecraft season one. Just because now there's this whole cast of characters that I really would be like genuinely miss and want to see again. So yeah, Wolf Among Us was great. I really wish there was a second season of Wolf Among Us and Telltale Game of Thrones. They pretty much said they're going to make season twos of them. They just haven't officially announced them yet. Board story can be in one sitting, I think. Finding a Paradise might be a little longer, but it's supposedly a five-story game. Laura posted some of the music on her channel again. It's really pretty. Oh, I'm sure. One of the best things about about uh, To the Moon was the, the music. I love the music. Sci-fi-ish, I think. According to Google search, it should be 20% off by now. Ooh, read-only memory. All right, I'm going to have to check that out. Oh, I donate my eggs if I could. I don't plan on ever using them. Good luck, though. I'm sure you'll get a big family one day. Well, thank you, Competo Kiss. The eggs are not a problem. Like, we're, we're prepared to, to pay for the eggs in the bank. That's not a problem. What we need is is the 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 womb. We need the womb. We need the uh, the, the rental space, if that makes sense. Um, yeah. So the eggs are not an issue. It's 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 the womb itself. It's the surrogate. Um, but I appreciate that. Thank you. I hope you guys find a good one soon. You'll be a wonderful father someday. Well, thank you. I killed a Kenny. I really hope so. Your husband's a teacher, right? It'd be nice if some of his co-workers or feral parents could help you out. Yeah, it's it's just, like, it's one of those things where how do you ask people of that? Like, that's kind of awkward to just mass email, what, like, if a teacher is going to mass email the parents of their students, hey, is any of you interested in bearing my child? Uh, that's a little weird coming from a teacher, especially, you know, from the teacher of your child. So I don't know about that. About his co-workers, he has sent an email. We pretty much have sent an email to every one of our friends and family members, if anyone is interested. Um, that didn't really pan out, um, with the exception of people who, like, again, were friends of a friend. Like, if I have a friend of a friend who, you know who said they might be interested. None of those have actually panned out completely yet. Um, so it's been tough. I just finished Life is Strange Before the Storm. Life is Strange Before the Storm yesterday. And overall, for three episodes, I give a decent 7 out of 10. The last episode is where things get really deep. That's cool, Evan. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Combat in, in FBW looks cool, but I think Stick of Truth had more acoustic story. It's cool seeing more characters. Well, thank you. I'm glad you agree with me, Confedo Kiss. Wonder what the next game would be if they do make another one. Maybe join that Kevin kid and play their version of Star Trek. <gasps> oh, sci-fi Star Trekky. That would be pretty cool. I would be into that. Um, have you heard of L.A. Noir? You play as a detective and solve cases throughout the game. I'd recommend it to you. It's worth checking out. Yes, I have. I have. It's been in my bucket list for a while. I just haven't gotten around to it, but it's definitely something that I've been eyeing for a while. Um. All of the story-driven games, just pretty much everything, but especially the bio and Telltale stuff she loves. And I showed her your wedding videos, and she started tearing up. Oh, well, thank you. I definitely Telltale games. That's what I love about the Telltale games. They're very entertaining for you to watch other people play, especially if that person ends up choosing things differently from you. I always find that really interesting. So Telltale games, I think, are great because it's just like watching a TV show, but you're watching an interactive TV show that somebody else is making decisions for. Um, it's too bad they can't be grown in a test tube, but I don't think science has been that advanced yet. Not that advanced yet. Also, I'm happy to see more Extreme Cuisine up on your channel. I know, right? I just made... I just finished making the flan ice cream. The thing is about is... Um, I want to do more cooking videos. I really do want to make more Extreme Cuisine cooking videos. The problem is they take way more time, a lot more time to put together than video game Let's Plays because at least with video games, I just play them and record them and then like maybe do a little bit of editing and then, you know, pop them onto YouTube. With the cooking, I have to get like the cameras set up and get all the angles set up and then, you know, editing the video is a lot more meticulous. It takes like way, it takes a way more time 
um, to do videos for for um, cooking than any other video that I do, even including my Let's Talks. So that's the only thing is is I want to do more more cooking videos, but I just don't have as much time as I would like to do them. If that makes sense, if I if I wasn't a working man, if I wasn't trying to earn you know some extra bacon in order for us to have children, then yes, I would be I would definitely be you know doing more cooking videos. Um, yes, I need more Chef Park in my online life. Oh, thank you, Confetti to Guest. You know, a major issue people keep bringing out about Telltale is how your choices don't mean anything. But I'd like to say, as long as it's experience to get an ending is good, it doesn't bother me that they do have... It doesn't bother me that much, and they do try to solve it with giving multiple endings. Do you think the choices have gotten more consistent? I believe so. I still think that in some, in some games, not necessarily this one, people who... The choices that you make when people seem to... When you so-and-so will remember this, they don't actually seem to remember this. They actually seem to forget certain things. Like, forget the fact that you were actually really nice to them, for example. So that is a little bit annoying. But um, it doesn't matter to me that my choices don't vastly change the game that much. As long as the story is still good, regardless, if I still enjoy the story anyway, that's really matters to me more. Um, because you could have choices that vastly change the vastly change the story, but if the story itself is not that great, I'd rather have the better story, honestly, and more Lucas hugs. So, um, so yeah. Oh, I know. If you ever have any kind of free time, you you could like choose an ingredient you've never worked with before, but incorporate into one of your favorite usual dishes. I watch too many cookie show competitions. That would be super fun. I would totally long to do that. What I really would love to do, what would not be too hard, is I've always wanted to do like um, taste tests. So there's this, um, one of my favorite YouTubers, Emma, Emma from Japan, Emma made in Japan, Emma, Emma something. Um, she does videos where she actually, like, taste tests different things, different dishes, different snacks from, like, foreign foods, um, a ton of things. People would send her food for her to try from, uh, again, other parts of the world. I would love to do that. I would totally do some less, let's taste, let's taste video. I mean, as a foodie, I feel like I would have a lot of insight. I like to believe that I can commentate and have a little insight on the things that I'm eating and what I think about it. So um, that's something I would love to be able to do. So, and it's a lot faster than making a cooking video. So that might be a good compromise if you want to see the foodie side of me, which is a pretty big part of me, I think, is the foodie side of me that I don't get to like leverage on my channel as much. Um, but I would love to do that. Um, still, we're also waiting on Phoenix, right? Yeah, I know, I know. Although I've heard some some more lighthearted games like Cattails or something that'd be fun for like one shot or some kind of collab with another LP or Cattails, huh? Quick, someone sneak into Hark's place and place cameras in his kitchen. <laughs> uh, or some of the foreign viewers can send you food. That's right, in your PO box and you can do a tasting bin. Yes, yes, thank you. I just said that. I just said that. Um, so yeah, if anybody wants to send food to me to taste test, that would be amazing. I should... If, if they do, then I do need to start a P.O. box. Um, that's okay. Extreme Cuisine is like a special treat for viewers. Also, Ken Guau made a hilarious parody fake trailer to the moon or something was amusing, though the real trailer is nice too. Have you heard of Jake? Jakey Out? He has a Korean YouTuber. His vids are pretty interesting, especially for like Korean culture. Yeah, um, I have not. I'll have to check that out. I will have to check that out. Cool. All right, guys, I have, I'm going to, if there's any more Q&A questions, um, now is your time to ask them. Otherwise, I'm going to skedaddle and uh, clean my house some more. <laughs> it's basically the docket for the day. I want to make sure my husband comes back from New York in a nice, clean house, <laughs> if I can help it. So, um, uh, but uh, it looks like uh, maybe we might be out of questions. So I just want to give a special thank you to, um, my list isn't uh, there we go to Corey Comb 16 Faye Gwent I Killed Kenny 06 Competo Kits and the event the Evan Ranger thank you guys so much for watching and especially for staying until the very end which you did not have to do 
Um, and I hope that you guys have a wonderful rest of your holiday. Merry, Merry Christmas for all of you who are celebrating Christmas. And I hope you guys have a joyous new year. Please stay safe on the holidays. I hope you have a relaxing and fun holiday. And um, I hope that the next year is even way better than this one for you. And uh, yeah, so that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys later. Mwah! Love yourselves and love each other. Toodles.